It's me. <laughs> Shall we do a sound check? <laughs> Can you believe it's a whole week has gone by? I don't know where time is going. I mean, I'm in a creative realm most of the time. Hi, Verbi, Jenny, hi, and Julie, and Donald, and Stefan, I know, and there's a new person. His surname is Dilo. Hi, Francine. Um, I don't want to lose you by scrolling up, and I'll try. So we've got Donald and Mary Ann and Karen. Hi. Andre. Welcome, Andre. Don't know if you've been here before, but we've got Tim as well. You keep going around England, don't you? Oh my goodness, and I lost you. I hope not. Oh no. No, I'm back. <laughs> I think I did. Have I? So, I was thinking... Am I back? Okay. Am I back? Do you hear me? Something's gone different. I don't know what's going on. Yes. Jenny, I'm getting much better, thank you. Jenny, I'm getting much better, thank you. Okay, I'm pushing live chat. You'll reprise. That's not what I want. Oh my goodness, why has it done this? Anyway. Let me know if it's all okay because there's something new happening on this. <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. Go back that way. Maybe that will fix it. Oh, I'm back. Great. Hi, Verbi. I am much better. Thank you, Stefan, for telling me. For some reason we've gone again. still have um, a little bit from the um, concussion I experienced from falling down. I have the same problem with sending an address. Expand video. What's that mean? Turn that. Let's see. I know I got a notification saying I didn't have connecting to video. Here we are. Okay, whatever. I want to talk about creativity. And um, Denise, you had a problem sending your address. Hmm, what should we do? Do you want to send it via my email? because I'd love you to have Angus because he turned out really great especially if you see them in purpose and point oh my god anyway it'll go well with Tigger I have to say it'd be sweet to have them both um, framed next to each other and I'd love to see the photograph of it when you do it so Donald says he hears nothing. Hmm. Does everyone else hear something? 
Let me know. Hmm, does your Facebook Messenger work? Because we can get so you are not responding anymore. Do you have I have the same problem with sending my address? And Donald hears nothing. Does anyone hear anything? Because that would be a shame. Testing, testing. Sorry about this. Julie, are you okay with the echo? Is everyone okay? Hmm. I will turn off my phone. See if that helps. A minute. Could be someone else in the house is um, interfering with things. I'll turn off my phone first. And I'll turn off the main computer, see if that helps a bit. It's been really raining today, so it's quite possible that the internet's down. Just a minute. It's always a challenge sometimes. Helps us to learn patience, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to close down the other computer. Shut down. Shut down. Okay. Now I have turned off my devices. And how's it going right now? At least you, all you guys uh, get to say hi. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see what Donald's saying. Are you still not hearing anything, Donald? That's a shame. Anyway, I'm going to move on and see um, if this works. What I want to do is talk to you about the what true creativity is it's it's not a fantasy though a lot of people might start that way like i wish that my painting would be this or i'll do an angel or i'll do something else but true creativity comes through the deeper imagination that links you to your soul realm and then you can open up i never knew I was going to do lovers like this one she's eight foot tall and then there's humanity heroes the man holding the feminine who's holding the new birth of their marriage and I call this heart of heart it was quite an experience experiment in fact and this is one of my favorites the garden of beauty when I was in Hawaii this was born and uh, then there's doorway, of course. Apparently, the third in initiate, you go through th three initiations before you touch the highest of who you are. And there's a doorway there. 
on the third initiation with two angels guarding it. And I first saw a painting of Cecil Collins in one of our shows in the, in the, um, where was it? The Tate. And I thought, oh, that's interesting because I'd been studying about and contemplating the levels of initiation as you open up your inner doorway to your creativity. And um, there's a whole method that I've been trained to open. And the, the most important thing is the intention. And if before you start painting, the people in India, when they do watercolors, they'll burnish the paper to clear the lower mental mind before they touch the paper with any paint or whatsoever. And I have my way and every person will find theirs to bring your mind to a point of stillness and closing your eyes, very similar to the meditations that we do. And um, before you even touch the paper or the canvas or the clay, so that you're very open to the highest creative purpose of your soul. And um, this was done for 9-11. It was a proposal to have benches with angels, one with the firemen, and one with just an angel that you could have a photo with and sit there and contemplate higher energies. And um, they had already when they put up proposal for artists, put up ideas for installations and things. They had already had the idea. They just wanted people to get in an artistic mode to support the energy going into 9-11, ground zero. That was quite a experience. But I love doorway. It opened a doorway to me. And then this is the path to um, world peace. The disciples are walking towards the earth, contemplating. And this is awakening. It's that moment when you realize there's more than the um, mobile phone and your car and your fears and everything. You touch your soul. That's what awakening is about. You see that there's something beyond the three the materialistic level of what you live and how you think. And then you become of more purpose. You calm your thoughts down. You become the conductor of what they are. You realize that everything you think translates into what you do. Everything's a frequency. Everything vibrates. And nature vibrates. Peace vibrates through the flower through your thoughts and you need to be a contributor. You do affect this community around you, everything. That's why I love going to nature because they have this song of peace. Of course, there are moments when they're not happy and you can pick that up because they're living in a polluted world. So it's our thoughts that are gonna help change the pollution of the world. And I know that every one of you are magnificent. Inside, we're all magnificent. And it's, I want you to see that. And you're the conductor of your thoughts. You do have the power to do that, to shift your frequency. That's where real peace is gonna come when we all radiate the vibration of peace and not be allowed to be infected by the chaos around us. I find right now if the world is in such a state that it's in a strange way an opportunity to hold the stillness, to hold the positive frequency amongst such fear and suffering. But we can do it. You can do it. We can all do it together. And that's why it's really good for us to do these meditations as well. And I would like us 
to begin to do the same thing. I can't see any comments, unfortunately. So, I, the last one was Donald's. I don't know what's happened to all my comments. I hope you're hearing what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh my goodness, when Heart of Heart, the pink one, that was an experience because I um, had seen some uh, painters that were just throwing their paint onto the canvas and because I was working with vibration, um, I thought, okay, we're going to spray the canvas with water and then have an intention that the highest purpose would come through these colors. And I set an intention that it would be of heart sharing to hearts. So this is what came out of it because with the water, some of the paint would dribble. And then I turned the canvas and I sprinkle some more water, put some more paint, come up really close with the water so it would drip some more and then put some gold leaf on and turn it again and again and until I felt that it was ready and finished. So that's one of my processes. I did several paintings like that to see if my um, tendency to make everything realistic, you know, the real face, the real water, the real sunshine, um, mixed with a trust of a flow of colors that dimensionally takes you. And then there's, as I've said before, there's the clear glaze in between the glazes, especially when I'm using oil painting. And the glaze creates a pathway for light to travel through. So a lot of colors change or optical new colors that come. <coughs> Excuse me. I was going through my files this week, checking out my letters and things, and I found some from Cecil and from Elizabeth Collins. And Elizabeth always used gouache. And apparently in one of these letters, she was going, oh, Cecil told me this week I have to put a glaze on the gouache so that it has a deeper dimensional aspect of light. <coughs> Excuse me. And I was so amazed what letters I had from these people and they moved me and I had letters from um, the president of the Jungian Society in um, New York City sharing me with a certain type of talk not a, a, a gossip or a worry or just uplifting thoughts to inspire me to um, be part of a different reality that is really a more peaceful reality. So I've put them in a very special place and um, maybe I can share with you. One of the letters from 2014 was from Scarlett Ravenscroft. Her dad was Ralph Ravenscroft, the famous saxophonist that did um, oh, Baker Street and you know what she did she sent me his because he had passed on she sent me the reed from his um, saxophone and said that he really wanted me to take care of it and it was so moving I, I forgot that I had gotten that, and that is in a very special place now too. People, I don't know, I love relationships like that with people, and I feel that with all of you, and may it continue. So, why don't we do um, our meditation? And tonight I want to focus on color a bit more. So I'm going to put up a slideshow of healing colors through flowers, which is what my training is about healing. And 
before I do that, I'd really love you to um, relax, get very calm, and for a moment, close your eyes and pay attention to your breathing. Allow the breath to come in and be still and quiet and relax and release. And breathing in calmness and stillness and relax. Breathe in again and relax. Take the breath through your body and bring peace and stillness to every corner, every organ, every system. And breathe in and relax. And in the moment, I will um, put up the healing colors. And I want you to open your eyes and just watch the colors. No judgment, no naming. Just let the colors come in on your breath and relax and release. Breathe in, hold the color 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 and release. This is joy. Feel joy. Wisdom. Strength. Vibrancy, energy, strength again, love, compassion. healing tranquility gentleness joy purity wisdom Strength, vibrancy, energy, strength with joy, love. Compassion, healing, 
purity. Tranquility. So now, I would like you to close your eyes and allow one of the colors to inspire you. You can peek sometimes to focus on the color, but most of the time, take the color you feel closest to. Take it in on your breath, closing your eyes. So breathe in the color. and allow it to flow from the top of your head, slowly down to your forehead, to your eyes, to your ears, to your mouth, your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, and all the way down your arms, past your fingers, come back and touch your spine with the color and your rib cage and your heart, your spleen, your pancreas, liver, kidneys, lungs. Go down through your digestive system, through the intestines to your gallbladder and liver. Allow it to cleanse, to strengthen, to heal. Your urinary system, the bladder, the reproductive organs, your pelvis, your shoulders, Sorry, your hips, your knees, going down your calves to your ankles, to your feet out your toes to Mother Earth. And feel her strength, her love, and her care. Give gratitude for being one. and take that quality back slowly up your body again through your feet, your ankles, your thighs mixed with the color, your chosen color and it can change your knees your thighs, your hips your pelvis region and slowly go up your body, up your spine, relaxing, healing, clearing, restoring, until you reach your heart center. And breathe in. And relax. And release. And bring in the rose, the pink rose of compassion this time. And allow that to radiate out of your heart center, surrounding your whole aura. Allow yourself to be bathed with that loving compassion, the tenderness, the fragrance. and fill your shoulders and your arms and your head with that color as well as your whole body. And when you reach that point of radiance, 
fill your aura with crystal light as well, sparkling, and allow it to expand into your room. This is your radiance of who you are. And expand it to your family, your loved ones, your village, your country. Expand it to the world, to all people, to Mother Earth, our planet, the air. Allow the pink and the crystal light sparkles to surround the whole planet. And bring healing and love and wisdom to all people of all cultures, of all genders, of all religions. Holding hands and caring for the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom and our forests and the water and the air that we breathe, that we share. Fill it with these sparkles, crystal sparkles with love and bring in some spring green to purify all levels, to bring healing to all of life. We are one with life. We are peace. We are love. We are harmony. And may we join together in peace, in love, in harmony. in stillness. Just for a moment. Slowly come back across the waters to your country, to your community, to your family and loved ones, to your room, and bring the aura of pink and crystalline back surrounding your being. You will always have that radiance. But place the amethyst around your aura. And fill your aura with roses. and strength, the strength to love, to be who you really are, and relax, and feel those colors within 
Feel your strength. And silently to yourself say, I love you. I love who I truly am. I forgive myself. I realize who I am in my heart. May I live peace and love and harmony. I am the creator of my life. No matter what surrounds me, I am peace. I am love. I am wisdom. I am the conductor. I am me, the true me. I have strength. I am love. I am peace. I am harmony. And in your time, come back to your room, slowly open your eyes, feel your feet on the floor, wiggle your fingers, and join us on the live again, if you so choose. And may peace be with you all. I pray this worked because um, I can't get any of your messages, your comments, and um, I bless you all. Thank you for coming, <laughs> and I hope you have a really good week. And what can I say? Thank you. I'm going to close for now because I don't know if you've heard anything that we've done. So if you have, thank you. I love you. I bless you and I look forward to next week. And be creative. <laughs>